Let's draw the Lewis structure for CH32NH. You could also write it C2H7N, and that would give you the same number of atoms, except there are isomers for this, so this doesn't really tell us exactly how to draw diethylamine. So let's go with this one up here. If we count the valence electrons up for the CH32NH, we'll get this. So we have a total of 20 valence electrons. To write the Lewis structure, if we look at this, we have this CH3 group right here. This is a methyl group. In fact, we have two of them, and they're attached to the nitrogen. So we're going to put the nitrogen in the center, put a methyl group on each side, and then add the hydrogen on the central nitrogen. That'll look like this. And let's put this last hydrogen, this one up here, right above the nitrogen. So we have two methyl groups. We have the one here and the one here. We have our central nitrogen, and then we have this hydrogen right here. So we can draw bonds between these to represent pairs of electrons. That looks like this. So carbon will bond to four things. So each carbon here, it has an octet. The central nitrogen, it has one, two, three. It has six valence electrons. If you count up these bonds, each one is two valence electrons, you'll get 18 valence electrons we've used. But we have 20 for this dimethylamine. So if we put our last pair of electrons on the nitrogen here, we've now used all 20 valence electrons. Each atom has an octet. Hydrogens, they only need two electrons to have their outer shell full. So the hydrogens are good too. This is the Lewis structure for diethylamine, CH3, 2, and H. We could also write it like this to give you an idea of the molecular geometry and the bond angles. Here you see the nitrogen in the center, then the blacks, those are the carbons, the whites are the hydrogens. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH32NH, dimethylamine. Thanks for watching.